Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is gonna be the top 10 mods of the week. Um, I apologize that this is coming out as late as it is, but um, there's some really good mods this week. I'm pretty excited to show them off with you. Um, in addition to that, Precision Farming also came out this week, so make sure you guys check that out. Um, that's not one of my top 10 for the week, just because I normally don't include Giants mods, um, just because, well, Giants really doesn't need the extra credit. They do a good job, and usually their mods are fairly highly rated. But anyhow, uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the rest of it. Um, if you guys are trying out Precision Farming, make sure you guys check out my tutorial series on it to get all the information you need. Let's go ahead and jump into the top 10 for the week. For number one, we have the International 2 Plus 2 series. This is uh, by EY Modding. This is 14.65 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.7 out of five stars with 196 people having rated it. Um, this thing is a pretty sweet little tractor. Um, it does uh, articulate in the center of the tractor, just so you guys are aware. I know for some people that's a bit of a, a no-go for them, but that one does work really well. Now in here, there are three different configurations. I have the bigger one out here, the 2 Plus 2 series Super 70, um, which can go up to 235 horsepower. This one goes up to 200 and this one up to 170. So um, quite a few cool little tractor designs in here, different options through all this. So uh, yeah, you got the 30, the 60, and the Super 70 there. So pretty awesome. Um, overall, really well done mod and really cool mod as far as uh, just kind of an older school tractor to be able to use on your farm um, if you wanted to use that. So there you go. That is the International 2 Plus 2 series. For number two, we have the Dirtinator. This does look like a normal power washer, but it is far from that. This is by uh, Yoss. This is 0.97 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 149 people having rated it. Um, this thing is pretty sweet. So instead of washing your vehicles, this thing will spit kind of dirt and mud out and it will get your vehicles dirty. Hence the name, the Dirtinator. Yes, I know it's not maybe the most practical thing to have on the farm, but it's pretty cool. Uh, so I, I'm glad it came out. It's kind of silly, but I love it. So well done, Yoss. Um, this thing is is gonna be found under placeable, same place you'd find the power washer. Um, you just gotta scroll down a little bit further. But yes, the Dirtinator, there you go, folks. All right, for number three, we have the Hydroponics Greenhouse. This is by Dogface. 3.22 megabytes to download for all platforms, currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 91 people having rated it. Um, so it works like any other uh, greenhouse, except it's just a little bit different in terms of what it inputs. So you can input liquid fertilizer um, in this guy as well. And I'll actually show you guys the production menu while we're in here. Um, so if we take a look at this, you can see plus fertilizer, so 10 water, one fertilizer, so not very much, that one's 20 and one, but yeah, so not very much um, in there as far as what it takes, but um, just a little bit different as far as the actual production system goes, but there you go. That is the Hydroponics Greenhouse by Dogface. For number four, we have the Lizard AM Transport Cattle. This is by Vanquish081. This is 2.64 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 61 people having rated it. Um, this is a very cool livestock trailer. It holds more than just cows, even though it says transport cattle on the name. Um, but this thing right here for $98,000 will hold either 56 cows, which is a lot, 64 pigs, or 108 sheep, or 38 horses, or 322 chickens. Um, that is madness. That's very cool. So here is the Lizard AM Transport Cattle. If you want to move a lot of livestock very quickly, um, this is going to be the guy for you. Now you can see it's kind of an odd color out there. You can customize that rim color and that main color to basically whatever you would like. So a lot of customization available as far as the colors go for this. And it is just a massive, I mean, you can see it next to that truck. It is just a massive um, livestock trailer there for you. But there you go, the Lizard AM Transport Cattle. All right, for number five, we have the Grain Mill Extended. This is by Omatana. This is uh, 6.51 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.9 out of five stars with 64 people having rated it. As anything that Omatana does, it is very well done, very well thought out. This grain mill can produce flour from corn in addition to the other ones. And there's some other cool stuff with it too. We'll take a look here at the production menu. So grain mill extended all of this stuff down here. So we have wheat flour, wheat there, barley flour, oat flour, sorghum flour, corn flour, wheat flour from pig food, or wheat flour, wheat flour pig food, sorry. So it's gonna give you, instead of, it's gonna be four and one, and that's actually just an additional one, so it's not even changing the output. You still get, you just get a little bit of pig food with it if you'd like, which is pretty sweet. So kind of like your waste in there as far as going to pig food, but yeah, you're gonna get uh, some flour out as well as pig food. Now, yes, these are the different productions. It all is still flour and pig food. So it's not like there's a bunch of different outputs um, here. It's just, there's a bunch of different ways you can go about it. So activate whatever you want, but really cool, really well done. Uh, really good idea, Omatana, I like that. That is the Grain Mill Extended. All right, for number six, we have the Lizard Underbelly Trailer. This is by Mantrid. This is 5.12 megabytes to download. For all platforms, currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 106 people having rated it. Um, this is a very cool trailer. Um, you can customize it quite a bit. This one has two tanks on it. You can make it one tank or two tanks. It has Lizard's Logistics on the top of it. Um, you can change that if you'd like to. It has a little Lizard symbol on there. It's kind of hard to see, but 
if we go down here maybe just a little bit you can see it's a nice shiny red color there uh, but you can change the color on it to pretty much anything you want you can change the rim color as well um, and you also can chain these together which is pretty cool so this is one of my favorite trailers from uh, farming Simulator 19 i'm glad to see it come back it's not the biggest capacity trailer out there but it is pretty cool it's 110,000 liters uh, for the single tub or if you have it in the dual tub capacity um, it's 80,000 total 40,000 per which you can do two different crop types at once so very cool that is the lizard underbelly trailer and for number seven, we have the Rustic Cabin. This is by Elk Mountain Modding, 49.75 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.9 out of five stars with 165 people having rated it. This is a farmhouse with an enormous amount of detail. Very cool, very good for like a role play aspect or anything like that they want to do in farming sim, but a lot of details in there. You can kind of see in the bottom right corner of that bottom or that right side window on the, um, on the, Oh gosh, I can't even describe it. On the house, you can see the sleep trigger through there. A lot of detail, you can go in the house and look around. Fantastic, well done. I'll just kind of swing around to the side here so you can take a look at some of that detail on that side and on this side. Very well done. Uh, good job, Elk Mountain Mining. That is fantastic. So there you guys go. That is the rustic cabin. For number eight, we have the Case Ecolo Till, or Ecolo, I don't know how to pronounce it, 2500. This is by ARM Team, 4.81 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.9 out of five stars with 89 people having rated it. If you are looking for a big and realistic looking plow, um, yes, the Lizard Plow is amazing, but this thing's pretty cool. It does require a lot of horsepower to get going, 310, um, and it's 80 grand to buy, but it is a good working width here, uh, 8.5 meters there. So um, really good working width on it um, in addition uh, to everything else you can't have it on this trailed mode like i have here and of course it's also a case brand which is pretty cool as well just to have a branded piece of equipment instead of just lizard um you can have it in that trail trailed mode there or you can have it as a three-point link attachment so um pretty cool i like that that's the case equal equal till 2500 there you guys go for number nine, we have, of course, this had to make it, the Donut Production, also by Yoss this week. 1.3 megabytes to download, so super small download. Uh, it's for all platforms, currently rated 4.8 out of 5 stars, with 77 people having rated it. Um, cost $50,000, $100 per day in maintenance. If we take a look inside the menu here and look at the production, you can make glazed donuts with flour, sugar, milk, eggs, and butter. Strawberry donuts with all those same ingredients plus strawberries, and chocolate donuts with all those same ingredients plus chocolate. This is incredible, fantastic. I love it. So there you go, that is the donut production, which is absolutely fantastic. So there you go. Well done, Yas, I love it. And even says West Hill Donuts on it, love it. All right, for number 10 in our final mod for the day, we have the Valtra T-Series CVT South America. This is by Senior v Vertex, uh, Pedro Amorum. 22.29 megabytes to download for all platforms. Currently rated 4.8 out of five stars with 206 people having rated it. Um, it's a really well done tractor. There's a lot of cool customizations on it, um, including this one, which kind of has those kind of wider tires. You can see that kind of set off there. That's the sugarcane, um, uh, I don't even know, something like that, trigger configuration, something like that. A lot of good configurations on it, lots of customization from tinted windows, different exhausts, uh, tires, um, all that good stuff, GPS, colors. You can make this thing any color you, you want. So very cool as far as that goes. But um, again, that is our final mod for the day. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bells on so you don't miss any future videos I may post. Anyhow, this has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.